हाय दिस इज अभिजीत एंड यू आर वाचिंग ए बी स्टडी सर्कल डू लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी वीडियो फ्रॉम ए बी स्टडी सर्कल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एंट्रोपी एंड इट इज आस्ड इन सी एस वी टू यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम इन टू थाउजेंड एंड टेन सो लेट्स क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस टू के जी ऑफ वॉटर एट नाइंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस इज मिक्सड विथ थ्री के जी ऑफ वॉटर एट टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस इन एन आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम कैलकुलेट द चेंज इन एंट्रोपी ड्यू टू द मिक्सिंग प्रोसेस ओके सो लेट्स ड्रॉ ए ब्लॉक डायग्राम according to the question see this is your say suppose the mixing chamber and it's isolated that means neither any heat is being uh, added to this system or any heat being uh, lost from this system okay now see there are they, this is the barrier which separates 2 kg of water at 90 degree celsius and 3 kg of water at 10 degree celsius okay suppose this is your body One and this is your body, two, right? So let's write down the given things. For body one, we have mass one that is two kg, and we have temperature T one that is. 90 degree celsius i will be converting into uh, kelvin and it will be 363 kelvin okay and for body 2 it will be m2 that is 3 kg and it will be t2 that is 10 degree celsius but i will be converting into kelvin and it will be 28 3 kelvin okay and we want to find out to find what change in entropy okay we have to find out this now see when this two bodies are mixed the body with higher temperature will lose some heat and that heat lost by this body will be gained by the body which has the lower temperature right to attain a thermal equilibrium after mixing so that they both have same temperature and maintain a thermal equilibrium okay so let t be the equilibrium temperature of both bodies that is 2 kg h2o and 3 kg h2o after mixing right now we know heat lost 
by 2 kg of water is equal to heat lost uh, heat gained right it will be gained by 3 kg of water according to the question right okay so it will be m1 into cp of water into t1 minus t right because the final temperature will be t and it will be lower than this t1 right okay it will be m2 cpw because both have water into t minus t2 okay because after gaining some heat the body 2 will have a increased temperature okay so that's why t minus t2 now let's put the given values we have 2 into 4.187 into t1 is how much 363 minus t is equal to 3 into 4.187 we have to remember this right okay and it will be t minus uh, 283 okay and when you calculate this t you will get as 315 kelvin okay we got this equilibrium temperature after mixing so means the final temperature of this body after mixing will be t and the final temperature after mixing of this body will be t okay then let's find out the entropy change for each bodies right entropy change for each bodies so we have entropy change for body 1 ok so we have ds1 that is m1 into cpw into ln t, t will be the final temperature and initial will be t1 ok so let's put the values here that is 2 into 4.187 into ln t we have known that is 315 and t1 is how much 363 ok and it will come as minus 1.187 kilojoule per kelvin ok so let's find out the entropy change for and sorry entropy change for body 2 ds 2 it will be m2 into cpw into ln t final will be the final temperature will be t and initial will be t2 for body 2 so it will be 3 into 4.187 into ln 315 by 283 and it will be 1.346 kilojoule per kelvin so we have got the entropies for individual bodies so the total entropy change will be that is ds total will be the algebraic sum of individual bodies so it will be minus 1.187 plus 1.346 and it will be 0 
kilojoule per kelvin and this is your answer